Hamas has issued a statement saying that flying swastika flags by Palestinian protesters is condemned and rejected. The statement issued on Friday in the name of Dr. Basim Naim, member of Hamas International Relations Office, said when protesters fly Nazi symbols, it's exploited by the Israeli occupation to distort our struggle for freedom and independence. The Hamas call did not condemn what the swastika represents. Palestinian Authority Finance Minister Shukri Bishara is visiting Israel on Tuesday to hold talks with Israeli officials. One of the key meetings concerns the large debt the PA owes the Israel Electric Company. The PA reportedly faces financial collapse after refusing to accept taxes collected on its behalf by Israel. The PA was protesting Israel's withholding of a sum equivalent to that which it pays terrorists and their families. War with Iran is the mother of all wars, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said in a speech on Tuesday. The Iranian president's words were directed at the West, and in particular at the U.S., which reimposed sanctions last May and has been ramping up pressure on Iran ever since. Rouhani warned in his speech that shipping might not be safe in the Strait of Hormuz oil waterway, Reuters reports. When Israel's Genesis lander crashed into the moon on April 11th, few knew that it carried samples of a tiny life form with extraordinary powers of regeneration. The payload included thousands of tardigrades. Wired magazine reported on Monday, tardigrades or little water bears are eight-legged segmented creatures measuring about 1.5 millimeters long. They are considered among the most resilient creatures ever discovered and can survive extreme conditions, including space.